What's going on guys? Uh, I'm out here at Fireman's Park again and today I'm actually going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be testing out between these two baits which one works better. Either these live night crawlers or these uh, catfish chunks blood flavor. Artificial to Berkeley gulps. Um, I tried one of them in a canal, but I, 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 I'm doing canal fishing wrong because I'm not sure exactly how to do it. Maybe you guys can leave something in the comments and let me know what I'm doing wrong. But um, yeah, these I know the earthworms are probably going to catch a lot, um, but I'm going to be focusing mainly on catfish, at least for the for the results. Um, I'm sure I'll catch some bass and some red-eared sunfish and some maybe a warm mouth, whatever's out here. But um, they just stocked this this pond uh, a few days ago, so there are fish in here. There are a lot more, and it just rained pretty heavy last night. So the water level, maybe you can tell, is a lot higher than last time. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, finally got a bite. It's been about half an hour. Um, oh, maybe it came off. Oh, no, he's still on it. Uh, the worms, this is on the night crawlers. Finally got a bite. And it actually pulled, holy moly, what is that? Oh, okay. It's a freshwater drum? What is this? Jesus. Is that a freshwater drum? I guess it is. That's a, that's a big fish. All right. Um, I have to do since I don't have any fish grips or nothing. All right. Jiminy Christmas. This is the biggest fish I've caught here. Easily. Don't shake, buddy. Don't shake. Help me out here. Holy. Yep, that's a freshwater drum. Hey guys, this is a freshwater drum? I think it's a drum. I didn't even know they were here. Son of a... That's a drum. Holy crap. That worm? Holy moly. I just, I, I re-tossed it out there straight in front of me. God damn. I didn't even know they had freshwater drum in here. I thought it was just tilapia and, and some other stuff. All right. That's an awesome fish. That's my first freshwater drum. Oh, fail. Come on, bud. I don't have any fish grips. Just something I need to do. 
But these guys got real gnarly gill plates, so. Wow, that's awesome. Let's get this guy back. Let me take a picture of him. Woo, man. So this guy weighs, what is that? Three, almost four pounds? Yeah, it's a solid fish. All right, let's get him back. All right, see you, buddy. He's sitting right there. There he goes. I don't know if you can see him. He's gonna go under the... Those circle hooks. Yeah, I'm using a dropper rig with, with two circle hooks and got him right in the corner of the mouth. There he goes, right along the bottom. Okay, he's good. Man, I didn't even know they had freshwater drum here. That's awesome. All right, let's get this guy back out there. Had the rebate. There's just something out there. I'm trying to make sure I don't get hung up on it again. That's why I'm kind of con really controlling where I'm putting this thing because there's something I've lost a rig out there before and I got hung up on it a little while ago, but I was able to get off of it. So it may be a pipe or something, but yeah, I'm just trying to avoid it. Well, I was in the middle of uh, reeling this thing in and this, this is a hit. Something's on here. Let's see what we got. He should still be on or not. Uh, there's still, uh, it's gotta be something small. Or not, okay, now that was just the weeds. Well, they're liking these worms, that's for sure. Right about there, let's pull it in just a little bit. It's a rocky bottom. Whatever that is, that's what I get hung up on. Okay, I'm off of it. Okay, leave it right there. Okay. I got another fish on the, oh, okay. Jumped up. Oh, did it spit the hook when I did that? Oh no, it's still here. Oh, it's a little large mouth. <laughs> Let's go, bud. Right in the corner of the mouth. Awesome. Ha <laughs> ha. that seaweed off. Pretty little guy. <laughs> Let's get a picture of him and send him back. All right, bud. Time to go home. A little bit of a belly flop, but that's all right. That's awesome. Uh, hadn't even built up the belt. Ooh, okay. Just tossed this one out there. Something decent hit it. It's a good couple head shakes. Oh, is it a big bass? Or is it another drum? Oh no, it's a big catfish. Okay. Oh yeah. Shake, don't shake too much. Don't shake too much. Awesome. Right in the corner of the mouth. Now the way you grab these things, see they got those spines, you basically use them. Put them in between your fingers. That way they don't get you. See with the circle hook, you just complete the circle. And then it'll pop right out. It should. Come on, get out of there. This guy's mouth is so... I might need to use the pliers on him. Okay, hey, calm down, bud. Where are they at? Oh, they're right here. 
with so much crap. Organize your stuff, people. Okay. Calm down. All right. guy was going nowhere. I'm at the edit this, but that's alright. There we go. Boom. I got a fat stomach on this thing. Look at that. He's grunting. <laughs> that's a fat stomach on this guy. Oh, let's get him back in. All right, buddy. Here you go. Watch out, duck. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's try to catch some more. So I guess that answers our Berkeley gulp debate. So the only catfish I've caught today, which is probably the only one, was on a worm. And it was rather, it was pretty fast, so... Those uh, Berkeley catfish chunks were out there for a very long time. I don't think they even got sniffed, so that's right. That answers that question. I may give them a fair, another fair shot later on, on another day, because I'm running out of time and the sun's starting to come out. Finally, got a bite on this red rod. Been waiting. Hopefully, it's still on. Oh yeah. Ah oh, man, he's got stuck in the weeds. There we go. Oh, never mind. He came off. Well, no, I got robbed. Ah, well. Let's rebait and get this back out there. All right, you see? For anybody else who comes out here and wants to fish here, um, something right... There we go. Okay, finally let go. Whatever it was. There's something out there that you can hook onto, basically, straight from this point that way. So you got to watch out. Just for anybody who ever comes out here. You see that? The bottom of the of the rod came up off the <laughs> off the deck, and I thought I was about to pull it in, but he's he's there. It's probably a good sized catfish. I hate this bell that's just ringing though. Oh yeah, it's another catfish. Get this damn bell off. <laughs> A little bit smaller than the last one. I can flip this one in. <laughs> he almost pulled my rod in the water. All right, right in the corner of the mouth. Let's get this crap off you. Nice. This is a little bit. It's a lot darker than the last one. Definitely a solid fish. See that circle hook? All you gotta do is take that out. Just pull it through, continue that circle. Comes right out. Easy, and it really stops them from getting gut hooked, which is a real good thing. That means the fish will higher chance for the fish for to live. Let's get this guy back in. That's pretty fish. Not as fat as the other one, but it's definitely there. his mouth. <laughs> cool looking fish. As I was taking a picture of him, he uh, flapped out of my hands and fell back into the water. So that's all right. It was a good release. So I guess that answers the question for today, whether these things work or not. They did not work today. So maybe uh, maybe it's just the flavor that doesn't work here. Maybe the liver flavor is better because there is a liver flavor. So, But uh, if you guys know any way, better ways to fish with these or have known and they've worked in the past, go ahead and drop a comment below. Let me know just so I can better utilize these things. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. If you made it to the end of this video, go ahead and drop a like. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys wanna see, if you wanna see any more of this bait versus bait stuff. Uh, this is a new thing for me, so just bear with me on trying to, trying to get this thing right. But if you have any uh, suggestions on what I should use next time, go ahead and let me know in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my 15 subscribers. You guys are awesome, man. That's it's really great that we've gotten this far. So let's let's push it to 20. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can get that milestone. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.
Thank you.